Hello everyone, welcome back to the weird side of YouTube. As you've just seen, this is the Art Aquarium, and this is the third episode in a four-part mini-series of sketchbook tours for that series. So, please enjoy. One more, one more. This is a piece of art of Calden for the planned sequel for a dream that I just never finished. I... I I basically realized that the dream was good on its own and it didn't need a sequel, so um, I'm working on something else entirely now. This was a character from the sequel. It was going to be Decibel's long-lost sister, who was in fact a memory stuck in Halcyon. And not a ghost, not a real person, because she died before he was born. Her name's Anna Marie. Anna Maria. This is Theodore as he's turning evil. Yes, he was going to turn evil for the sequel, so I just did that whole storyline for the prequel instead. This is Hunter. He is going to be my uh, Dungeons & Dragons character. No, he won't be naked in the actual gameplay, but I think he's cute. This is Eli, just a random wizard I made. He probably needs longer hair. This is very poor art I did of Solstice Everblossom. My uh, fairy from Dream. This is a character called Elijah Hawthorne, who everyone says looks like Eminem, and I can't really unsee it now. This is the princess from the medieval story that I was working on. Her name is Liliana. She's black. She has long, luxurious hair, and she's beautiful. I love her. This is Leviathan, the brother of Princess Oce Oceania. They're both like Latin, Latina, Latin, X. Their kingdoms are as such as well. This is Bjorn, who is a Viking king that lives up north in the mountains. This is Ethan, a farm boy, the brother of Ariel. This is Honeysuckle, a character that got cut from that manuscript, even though that manuscript is nowhere near finished. She was going to work at a brothel house. Everyone in the brothel house would have a flower name. And it was going to be called Rose's Petals, and Rose was going to be the madam that owned it. Another art of Tara from Dream. This was Penny when she turned back into a 16-year-old, and, and for the sequel, she was going to have to go through Halcyon herself and discover her own traumas and deal with that. Um, she got a haircut. Her powers are all whacked out. She's she's She was just going to go through it, go through hell, literally, but... I decided that the, the sequel wasn't needed. This is more Art of the Imps from Halcyon. Just a random wizard. This was a character from the sequel called Scarlet, aka the Beast. A random Japanese merman. Lockhart, which was going to be the rebirth of Blackheart. Uh, if you know, spoilers, Blackheart died in my novel, but um, he was going to be reborn as a memory in Halcyon and become like a guardian of it. This was the sword that Penumbra was going to have to find because I had this thing in my head where like broken hearts make good weapons, so like her literal broken heart was going to be her weapon. This is Oddball. Her name was Odyssey. She was going to be Penumbra's first female love interest. She is black and she's very much into painting. Uh, this was a villain that was going, the one that was going to corrupt Penumbra from the get-go. Turn her into that, basically. Uh, Grot is an orc that I made, who I love, and who's going to be in the sequel to Dream, but again, the sequel got cancelled. More art of Theodore from the sequel, who is going to be a villain in the sequel. Uh, this guy's name is Sai. I don't know where he came from or what he does. He just kind of popped into my head one day. Stitches. I don't know what that's about. Random 80s girl that I drew. Dante grown up. He's got a tattoo of the jigsaw piece. He's feeling himself. He's all about it. He's like 23 at this point. His hair is bleached blonde. He just 
He has found himself, and he is digging it, honey. Good for him. Uh, this was a character from the sequel called Atira. She was going to be a Native American character. Um, she's named after the Native American goddess of the earth. But she is not the goddess. She was just a character named that. This is Happy. If you've read the book, you know there's a demon clown uh, in Dream. In the sequel, he was going to have his own personality, his own goals. His own character, basically. But again, the sequel got cancelled. That is the map of a sore that I was going to write about. Um, if you've seen this art, it's of Dream. I used it for one of the trailers, one of the newer ones. That's all the toys. Theodore. What does that say? Realistic Theodore in quotes. People kept saying that I need to draw more realistically, so I tried. I think I failed. This was going to be like... Word art of Halcyon and Memory Lane. I, I, I was planning on making a video game like using RPG Maker based on Dream, and this was I was doing everything for it, but uh, it's way too complicated for me. This is Theodore when he was young. Mizu when she was young. Tara when she was young. Decibel when he was young. Dante when he was young, Saluna when she was young, Calden when he was young and crying like a baby, Solstice when she was young, very poor art again, Blackheart when he was young, Theodore when he's naked, <laughs> I don't know what this is, <laughs> uh, but this was a character from the horror manuscript I was working on, he was the main character, but his name has since been changed. And that's all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time.